Hi, today we're going to find the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix by using row operations. How are we going to do it? First, we write matrix A 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, 8, and next to it we insert 3 by 3 identity matrix. Now we have an augmented matrix, which is 3 by 6. Now I will begin elementary row operations to obtain identity matrix on the left side. And then these, this matrix on the right will be affected from those row operations. And it will change eventually to A inverse when I get identity matrix on the left. Let's see how we do it. First of all, my friends, I want to show you this leading one. On the top left corner, I have a one. I'm not going to ruin it, so I'm going to use it, actually. I will use it to obtain zero and zero here on the second and third row, first column. So, how we do it is this. I'm going to change the second row, how? Row two minus two row one. I'm going to subtract two times the first row from the second row, so that this two will be vanished and it will become zero. And same procedure on the third row, row three, row three minus row one. This time, just subtracting the first row from the third row will give us the zero entry on the third row, zero, first column. Let's see what happened here. The only affected uh, non-affected row here is the first row. It's not going to change, actually. Now, I'm going to subtract two times the first row from the second row. Two times one is two. Subtract from two is zero, as I was expecting. Two times two is four. Five minus four is one. Two times three is six. Three minus six is negative three. Okay, 1 times 2 is 2, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And this is not going to change because it's 2 times 0 is 2, 0. So it is just gives me 1 here. And also this one is not going to be affected. Now I'm going to deal with the second row operations I write here. Okay, 1 minus, the, I'm going to subtract first row from the last row, third row. So this is 0 here, yes, and 0 minus 2 is negative 2, okay, and 8 minus 3 is 5. Here, 0 minus 1 is negative 1, 0 minus 0 is 0, and 1 minus 0 is 1. So let me show you what I have here. I have the leading one on the first row, at the first row, and at the second row I have another leading one, uh, I was lucky that I have one here. If it's not a one, a leading one here, I, I need to divide by that number so that I get one here on the main diagonal. Okay, so I have one here. I'm going to use that one to make this negative two disappear and I will have zero here. How am I going to do it? I'm going to do it this way. Row three is going to be changed. How? I'm going to add row 3 2 times row 2. That's how we do it. So here I have 1, 2, 3. The first row is the same. Now the second row is also the same with the previous one. Negative 2, 1, 0. You need to be careful writing all these because one mistake ruins everything. So it is 0 here. It's 2 times 1 is 2, add to negative 2, it's going to be 0. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, add to 5 is going to be negative 1. Okay, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, it's going to be negative 5. And it's going to be 2 here and 1 here. Yeah. Okay, now what I have, the leading one in the first row, the second row, the only problem in the third row is this negative 1. I want it to be positive 1. So it's going to be 
another row operation. In this row operation, I'm going to multiply the row with negative 1. The whole row with negative 1. I can do that. So what we have is here 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, negative 3, negative 2, 1, 0. Okay, 0, 0, 1, 5, negative 2, negative 1, because I multiplied the third row with a negative 1. So you may see this. I have the leading ones here. They're all set on the main diagonal. The, under the main diagonal, you will notice I have all zeros. That was the first goal to obtain, and only also obtaining the ones here. My second goal is to get rid of this 2 and 3 and negative 3. I need those to be zeros. To do that, I'm going to go upwards now. I used the leading ones to get rid of other terms in, the, in this direction. Now I'm going to do it the opposite direction. How is that going to be? We will add row 2 three times the third row. Let's see what's gonna happen. This is the first row will be changed. Sorry, the second row will be changed. Also, why don't we do this? Row 1 row 1 minus 3 row 3. I'm going to subtract the third row from the first row. And let's see what happens. 1, 2, 1 times 3 is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0 here. Yes. Okay. 1 here, 3 times 5 is 15. 1 minus 15 is negative 14. 3 times negative 2 is 3 times negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. So it's going to be 6 here and it's going to be 3 here when I multiply the third row with negative 3 and add to the first row. Okay, let's see what happens in the second row. 0, 1. I add 3 times the third one to the second one. It's going to be 0. 3 times 5 is 15. At the negative 3, 2 is 13. And negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. At the 1, it's going to be negative 5. And finally, negative 1 times 3 is going to be negative 3 written here. And this is the third row, which is not affected by these two row operations. So what I see here, I have my leading ones. Under these leading ones, I have zeros. Perfect. These are handled. The only problem here is this two. So to handle that, I'm going to use the second row. This leading one will help me to get rid of this two. How? Row one changes to row one minus two row two. Let's see what happens here. 1, now it's going to be 0 here, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so it is negative 2 times 13 is negative 26. Added to negative 14, it's going to be negative 40, I guess. Negative 2 times negative 5 is 10 plus 6, it's 16. And negative 3 times negative 2 is 6, add to 3 it's 9. And the other rows will be the same. And it's 5, negative 2 and negative 1. So this is the inverse of the given matrix. How? I started with writing A. Sorry. I started with writing A here. Next to A, I put identity matrix. I used row operations. I changed A into identity matrix. And the right side matrix I changed into A inverse. So here, this is the inverse of A. 
which is negative 40, 16, 9, 13, negative 5, negative 3, 5, negative 2, negative 1. This is the inverse of the given matrix.